Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I am starting Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and flip through the minis real quick. I uh, ran through a test stream earlier doing a local recording, and I think I know what I need to adjust, but unfortunately, um, I believe most of the settings I have to go back in and uh, fix now, so, because nothing saved. I'll give it a moment. Actually, I probably should have went back. Um, hmm. I think maybe there's only one or two little things that we'll adjust once we're in the game. I should have, when it said that benchmark thing uh, went in, but that's okay. All right, a letter from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We're pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Very sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Alright, here we go. Alright, character creation. So, let's see what all we have here. We've got, um, looks like different character options and both the sex slash gender range and we got face shapes and hairstyle freckles and moles eye color feel other things okay let's start over here i guess um they all look slightly alike i heard this in a review that they all look like they could be like third cousins to one another or something it's interesting Something about the eyes and the cheekbones, I, I guess. Um, this guy looks rather dashing. Maybe we'll play as him. And uh, let's see. Did that actually make it change? Oh, I see. It's a little bit subtle. We'll give him. I don't know. I guess that one. Why not? Okay, so this is skin color. You go super pale. I'll we'll give it a little bit of a darker color there. Um, maybe that's uh, pretty close to the default. So we'll just leave glasses off for now. We'll say they used magic to make their eyes work. Hey, we have some fun colors, looks like. Um, let's see. <laughs> Purple reminds me of uh, Tonks. Let's see. I'm debating about being a Slytherin, so I think black is a classic Slytherin look, but maybe we'll go with a kind of most platinum gray look looks interesting um let's see we're currently on number two for the hairstyles let's uh do a quick flip through we got no hair looks like daenerys targaryen hair um some dreadlocks some braids i don't know i was pretty happy with that first selection these are Looking uh, pretty long haired. I don't know, this one looks kind of cool. How about. Let's see. I don't know. Let's go with number three. How about that? Not sure how much it's going to matter because I know there's a lot of accessories and stuff in this game. So, alright, we're currently on three. What does this look like? 
Oh, it's just changing some of the patterns on the face. See, it's just like, like it says, complexion. So whether you have some like flush marks or not. Okay. Um, I do think that the freckles are a little bit intense on this one. So let's set it down. We'll keep a few freckles, but not a whole lot. Um, scars and markings. So nothing. Looks like a rather sizable one. Oh, I can see it now in the illustration. That's neat. I don't know. We'll just go with plain and continue on from there. I feel like we're getting us a next model here built. Um, eye color. I might go a little bit interesting on this. We'll look for something unusual, maybe. Depending on how wild they get. Maybe we'll have something kind of vibrant. Yeah, let's go with purple. That'd be cool. Eyebrow color, we're currently set to that. Um, I don't know if we want to go gray there as well. Quite a range of colors. Um, how about... I don't know. We'll just do gray too. Eyebrow shape. Oh, look at that. Big old unibrow. Okay. This one's got like a little slice through it. That's interesting. Um, really thin. That's a fair amount of customizing. Like like I said, they still all look similar, but the customizations help a little. Ah, let's we'll go with that. Okay. Voice one or voice two? That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. We'll do normal and let's see which wizard choice will determine your player character's dormitory. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing that's the, um, you know, using the usual terminology, male versus female sorting there. So witch versus wizard. All right. Um, what kind of name? Do we want to have so what would sound like something from the Harry Potter universe? Um, hmm. How about little Robert um, Wansmith? <laughs> little Bobby Wansmith. Why not? I have no idea. We'll just go ahead and roll with it. Let's go. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a secondhand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks.
you before you left for Scotland? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. <laughs> a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright, my first action is to drink a potion. Nice. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit I would but stay close we've no idea who created this port key or why oh mystery okay I'm ready to do some magic let's go Have 
far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now we can set up a setting or two. I think that there was some uh, chromatic aberration that I want to turn off. Film green. Oh, it looks like it did save some of my settings. Okay. Good. It actually saved. I didn't think it did. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the pool key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Okay. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right, tap left mouse to perform a basic pass. Here we go. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Oh yeah. There we go. Feel the power. That was a bit rougher than I expected. <laughs> Your one works improving with every cast. That's Thank right. You, sir. Showing those jars who's the boss. It's a pretty big thing to climb. Bet it's gonna be easy to lose track of things in this game because uh, it's a quite a big height. Nothing over this way. Oh, a chest. Nothing though. At least we tried. We're close now. It's just ahead. Wow, graphics are pretty impressive. Steady yourself. Repair. Not bad, not bad. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. 
Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Mini map shows your surroundings with you, the little purple icon in the middle. This yellow thing is your current objective. Press and hold V to toggle quest objective details. Okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. All right. Spellcasting is pretty fast. It's nice. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. See, I don't think there's anything over here, but let's go double check. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Did see a place back here though. I think. Oh, here it is. Okay. No sign of a chest anywhere. The water is really pretty. I wonder if this is supposed to be close to where uh, one of the Horcruxes and the main Harry Potter story was located. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Oh, there he is. Come on, let's miss it. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? <laughs> Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Time to wake the goblin. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Green Courts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? 
These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringos was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Okay. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Looks like there's something over here. Is this a chest? Ah, they let me get it. Thank you for your help. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's money. Okay. I wonder if I got money earlier too and I just didn't see it. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Alright, steady your wand with the mouse and guide it along the symbol's path to learn spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Okay, so it looks like if I move left and right, it kind of wobbles this arrow. There we go. All right, R, cast Revelia. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. There we go. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. 
not out of Gringotts. Getting pretty scary. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Revelio. Okay. Yes, we don't need to cast a spell. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Aha, uh -huh. another spell. Something angry is chasing me. Okay. You've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Tap one to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Uh oh. Looks like a fight's coming. Look out! Potato! Adio! Dispecto! Lenium! Deposo! Exposo! Deposo! Gotta wait until that symbol comes over my head, looks like. Here we go. Well, this feels pretty good so far. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? See, I'm just following these swirls. What's happening? I don't know if that's the right way or not. The we'll wisps see. of magic seem to ah. be leading me somewhere. There you go. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. It's been an interesting tutorial so far. I like it. Alright, so this rebellion. is going to make me need to do a rebellion. This time. Okay, is this one lined up? Oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. There we go. Nice, okay. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. I didn't get the timing out right on that one. Stupid. 
nice. This combat is uh, pretty satisfying. All right. Oh, here we go. Lumos. Ah, shift is our sprint key. That's a pretty classic control scheme. Oh wow. Wow. Alright. Well, hopefully we're not gonna miss out on the treasure chest or anything. Uh oh. Did we go through water? above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories I wonder to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough percival we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces. Of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. 
Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. 
I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Alright, I can't wait to start classes and I can't wait to explore. Um, let's do classes, I guess. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, and ambition. So I guess this is a questionnaire to try to sort me. So I feel like loyalty would be a Gryffindor response. Ambition might be a... Um, well, actually, ambition might be Slytherin. Daring might be Gryffindor. I bet loyalty would be Hufflepuff and curiosity, Ravenclaw. Um... I'm gonna go with curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Ah, okay, let's see. The sorting ceremony, the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw house, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. You can accept it, or you can choose a different house. Let's see what the other ones say. Gryffindor house, known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. Hufflepuff house, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. And Slytherin, known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. So I feel like these are probably the two most popular, Gryffindor and Slytherin, and, you know, we all know in the lore that, like, really it's only Slytherin ones that the bad guys, you know, quote bad guys tend to go to in the Dark Arts people, but I feel like maybe doing Ravenclaw for a first run might be interesting, and I've never been super interested in Hufflepuff, so I think I will go ahead and do and Ravenclaw. Ready mind. Quick to learn. I don't know what it really matters yet, but I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so let's just take it and go. You belong in Ravenclaw! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow.
quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay, looks like I'm back in control, so let's see. I think we'll keep going a little bit since this is um, just the start of things. Just kind of taking a quick look around. I wonder if we'll be able to return return to this room. Appleby arrows. Look at that guy, Yelly. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. That mirror doesn't really work. Game busted. Immersion ruined. Um, looks like this is upstairs. Let's see if we can get downstairs. Gotta find a way to break the game right off the bat. Oh! Actually can go into a different room. Another Quidditch poster. Whoa. Bathroom. actually go in there. That's funny. Well, I'm going to assume there's nothing in here. I wonder if there's a quest in one of these uh, toilets that's something magical. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's enough for in here. Let's run back out. Looks like another room. This one has a uh, hourglass in it. Okay. Hey, a chest. Level 3 unlock. Alright then. Upstairs we go. I wonder if you'll ever get access to the other um, houses, common rooms, and stuff. Professor Weasley is a 
Smith the deal. Not right either. I want him to be in the perfect place, the place he'll be happy with, but I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Let's see, nice talking to you. Oh, okay, we got some questions, so I guess this would exit conversation. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a raven claw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Hmm, <laughs> nice little pen. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Okay, where shall we head off to next? Getting a few graphical hiccups. Too much magic happening here. That's PC just can't keep brilliant, up. Brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You'd think you could. Ah! That is not how that. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Hmm, interesting that I only got one dialogue choice. I guess this area has helped demonstrate the different ways things can go. Just have to wait for the right moment. I suppose some introductions are in order. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumb box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. 
Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Okay, we'll go check it out in a minute. First, I want to go up here and see what we got. Okay, looks like a bunch more uh, Quidditch related postings. Level one unlock. Guess I'm not there yet either, huh? Chess pieces wobble. Oh, uh, they're self playing. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I guess they uh, retired from the game. I think Madame Kagawa's brother is a professional Quidditch player. Wish I could meet him. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other day and would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. Horrid man. Spin Witches is my favorite. At least I get to see all the brooms, mm. even if I can't afford one myself. Does Professor Black have children of his own? Poor things have been done. I do think Professor Weasley takes her role seriously, since Black clearly has no interest oh. in his. The headmaster hates everyone. Lumos. Revelio. Do you think Black will be headmaster? Okay. My family in America. Wonder if I could transfer to Ilva Morning and come back when he's gone. Have you ever flown over Black Lake? Obviously, I have. Just wondering. A lot of opening dialogue. All right. Let's see. There's a couple more people over here. Broom will do me fine for a while, I'm sure. My parents keep promising me something to make up for the fact that they spoil my sister rotten. I think we'll just tell them to kick me out with a wind wisp from Spintwitches and we'll call it even. Harry Pippin certainly steered me right for that wound cleaning potion. His potion shop's better than you'd find in London, I reckon. I'm saving up for a new broom. Reckon I'll be going for the U Weaver or possibly a silver arrow. Albie Weeks says he'll give me a good price on one too. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rags could do with some competition. I prefer the three broomsticks to the Hogshead. Serona's a much better conversationalist than Jasper Trout. <sighs> Hogwarts must have hundreds of owls in the Owlery. Wonder if there's any mice there. I never know what to say when I write to my mother. Hello, Mother. Classes are horrendously... Lumos. And Professor Binns is still as dull as when you were in school. I can't wait till all my friends are at Hogwarts with me. Their turn to send the owls home. How many letters do you think come in and out of Hogwarts every day? I wish I received letters from home more often. I like knowing what my sisters are up to. The youngest is learning to denome the garden. Owls must be incredibly intelligent to deliver all of those letters. I still get lost looking for our common room. <laughs> Press the amount of dialogue with the NPC so far, even if you can't talk to them. Let's see what's up here. Ah. Okay. So we've already hit a few things that we just can't unlock yet. Guess it's time to shimmy downstairs and uh, head outside. Oh, is this something we had looked at? Yeah, okay. Looks like just another room. Okay, time to head this way, I believe. Imagine starting a new school this late. My mother sent me a 
howler after I got a paw on my transfiguration owl. Without a doubt, one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I almost fought an owl in Diagon Alley. Went with a cat instead. Odd colored eye and it quite appealed to me. There are a few students here I'd like to send a howler to. No one sends me owls. Can't remember the last time I got one. Not even on my birthday. Owls fascinate me. They have a lot of responsibility in the wizarding world. Imagine all the walking we'd have to do if we didn't have owls to deliver our post. I'd like to send owls, but I have no one to write to. I don't send many owls to myself, but it is nice to get them. What? Don't look at me like that. I sent a love letter to Imelda Reyes once, but I think she thought I was making fun of her because she's been rude to me ever since. When I said she was outspoken, I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> Teenage drama. I could afford my own broom from Spin Witches. Why do we even have flying if Professor Black cancelled Quidditch? I don't know what Madame Gugawa sees in Imelda Reyes. She's not that good at flying. I was going to try out for the Quidditch team this year. I was destined to be a glorious beater if Quidditch hadn't been cancelled this year. I was. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Rowena, Ravenclaw. All over the world come through Hogsmeade. You never know who you'll meet. Spotted a vampire from Romania last spring. All right, let's see. I think that's the end of their dialogue about people over here. If I can just stop banishing my thoughts when practicing Evanesco, I think I can get an eye on my Transfiguration OWL this year. I managed to conjure a hedgehog once. But it disappeared after a few minutes. Shame. Professor Weasley is already preparing me to take my transfiguration N.E.W.T. My cousin was transfigured into a mouse by an older bully last year. It took hours to get her to come out from under the bed. I rather enjoy transfiguration myself. The complexity, the precise nature of it. Truly something to be admired. I used to like transfiguration, but now it seems to be getting awfully complicated. Professor Weasley is a marvellous teacher. Never requires us to write more inches of parchment on a topic than necessary. My mother adored Transfiguration when she was in school. I'm sure she's disappointed that I'm so terrible at it. Okay, yeah, I suspect that's in the... Did you get your wish room from Pippin? Oh. Or did you pick it yourself? I'm desperately in need of something. I'd love to have a house in one of the nearby hamlets. Imagine being able to pop into Hogsmeade for a butterbeer whenever you wanted. Harry Pippin certainly steered me right with that wound cleaning potion. His potion shop's better than you'd find in London, I reckon. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always pay a visit to Dogweed and Deathcap. Although, Madam Green can be a little fiery sometimes, so you definitely want to stay on her good side. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rex could do with some competition. Augustus Hill just wants you to buy something, though. He's always talking his game. And then look at his face if you don't buy something. He's like a child with an empty pillowcase on Christmas morning. <laughs> okay. So let's end their dialogue. Oh, a little bit more. I'm still struggling with antidotes. It's startling to think that so many of them use pancakes. I'll be sure I'll never turn to that. Well, I've yet to understand how one is expected to do the homework for Bin's class, since that would require staying awake for it. If I transfigure my poor Toby into a goblin one more time, I think he's going to insist he stay that way. It's impossible to do all of the homework they give you. I think they do it on purpose. Reminds me, did Scribner say we could borrow the book overnight, or that we'd get detention if we had it out overnight? Okay, I think that's completely that. No. Nope. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Of course, we're going to be the best at magic. Try writing a hippogriff. He will soon learn that Kagawa's techniques are lacking practical uses. If anyone needs help with an essay or something, I don't mind doing it. I wrote two inches for Bins yesterday while I was eating my lunch. Well, Madame Kagawa said she's never seen anyone with such form and room. 
She even had the rest of the class watch me to see how it's done. The people I feel sorry for are the ones who don't receive any owls. Poor things. Have you seen their little faces at the table? I once flew to Ipswich and back. Yes, I did. Don't look at me like that. I've seen all the moles. Every one of them. They all look the same. <laughs> all right. They want to see the dialogue of that. Even if they start up again, we'll go ahead and keep moving. I'm not the least bit comfortable with it. Oh, it's got to be a reference to Harry Potter. It's Good morning. I trust you're ready for your prince. first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Okay, here we go. The guide will give you opportunities Lumos. to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Ravenclaw Tower. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Ooh, these frame rate drops. Killing me, Smalls. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Ravenclaw bust guide pages. This bus created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Just some lot to fill guide challenge. Your progress towards complete challenges appears here. Fill guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level in power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to, to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. One and two. Your appearance reward. Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles. Rewards must be cleaned from the challenges menu. Come back often and collect rewards you have unlocked. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh, 
Okay. She's going off that way. Let's see what's over here. Oh. That's a surprise. Let's go try this again, though. Maybe it'll let me open it. Okay. Oh, huh. Let's see, thirteen and Lumos. It's a spider. Revelio. Let's see what does pressing T do? Ah, oh, it's tutorial stuff, looks like. I guess this is how we swap out our different spells. Quite a few. Let's see what we got here. 16, 23. Okay, that's not bad. Um, 13, 21, 113, a spider. Huh, okay. i have to think about that. It seems like a puzzle though. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall discovered flu flames fast travel point you can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames Hogwarts is divided into two main areas the left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. It's like the grand staircase region flag to continue. A magnificent staircase of Hogwarts. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use AD to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames with spacebar. I believe this is it. Okay. Here we go. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. 
I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. Should we lie or should we tell? I guess we'll go with the top one. Who knows if it has an impact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, I think this may be a good time to uh, take a pause and we'll go ahead and end the stream and uh, pick up next time. We'll run the credits and say, thanks for watching. It's been S. Tarek. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good day.